What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Torture God Career Mode and I always call him the Legendary Torture God but now he is actually <laughs> officially the Legendary Torture God so let's see who his next opponent is going to be he's on a great roll of title defenses and he has finally f fresh blood tied to Ivaza who somehow has 95 striking I mean uh, for a guy who drinks out of shoes he's apparently a you know a, a really really fucking good striker I wouldn't assume so based on some of his recent performances, but alright, whatever, like, uh, all respect is given to all opponents, so of course, Ultimate Torture God is gonna take this man very, very seriously, the poster is, uh, one of the least impressive ones, because I would honestly say that Tuivaza is one of the least impressive opponents Torture God is, uh, has faced in a very, very long time, just to be completely honest with you guys, uh, physically, it's a pretty even matchup, and uh, 6-2, is a lot smaller than, say, you know, a lot of the 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys that UTG has fought lately. And, of course, the weight is similar despite Tuivaza being a lot bigger. But, all right, in terms of just, you know, being basically a, a fatty. Uh, and that's that's coming from me. So, you know, I'm a chunky monkey, so I can say, I can say things. Anyway, so, Tuivaza <laughs> versus Ultimate Torture God. Like, honestly, who the fuck would have seen this coming? Uh, Tuivaza gets sent across the, basically across the octagon with a push kick. But you have to respect his power. If there's only, if there's anything you can say, his power is, it is decent. So you have to respect him there. But other than that, I feel like UTG probably has his number pretty handily. The axe kick lands and it actually does a lot of damage too. I'm surprised by that because it doesn't seem like it would do crazy damage based on the animation in the game because it looks pretty slow. It doesn't look like it's particularly hard. But when it lands, it does a lot of damage. The spin kick is there. UTG, of course, his patented head kick has pretty much finished everybody's face so far. There are a few people have survived it. And the ones that do survive it end up with mush brains. But Tui Vaza actually rocks UTG. And we've been seeing that a lot more lately. So the longevity is starting to kick in. You can definitely tell he's starting to have a bit more of a hard time in dealing with taking shots. You know, back a while ago, he would pretty much survive anything. Or at least not survive. He would pretty much, you know, just kind of walk everything off. Nowadays, he's getting hurt by... A lot less shots and just taking a bit more damage. So, that in the long run, that probably will do a bit, uh, you know, hurt him a little bit in terms of his performances. But so far in this fight, despite that, he's still looking great. Not able to finish Tuivaza there. Kind of hesitated, it looks like. But in the clinch, if he can get to the tie clinch, it's pretty much over. But is actually probably going to be pretty good there. He's very, he's a pretty physically strong guy, so you, you would expect him to be pretty decent there. See if he can actually do damage. He does land an elbow inside, but UTG blocks the knee which is the most important thing of course and UTG's holding his own there <clears throat> he's actually always been pretty good in the clinch have to give him credit for that but Tai Tuivaza continues to put the pressure on him he's actually having a pretty solid second half of this round he started off pretty poorly uh, but you know he's picked it up he's landed some good shots he has hurt UTG but UTG goes to his back clinch can he actually suplex him he can it's one of the worst suplexes I've seen I mean, it doesn't look like anything like it, so he's just kind of dragged him. Um, so, not the most impressive suplex by UTG, but still a suplex nonetheless. And with one minute left in the round, can UTG finish him? He hits him with another Sparta kick. He hits a good body kick, too. But Tuivaza continues to move forward. The side kick is there. Another side kick is there. Starting to really flow with the long-range kicks. The UTG kick just doesn't quite land on him flush. And Tuivaza lands a good overhand, too. I mean, credit to him. He's he's staying in there, and he and he's still going after it. So you have to respect that. UTG. Oh, never seen that before from UTG. Knocked him out with a hook. That was just a perfectly placed punch right there. And Tuivaza wasn't even hurt, so it's not like he was, you know, beating down a, a a rocked opponent. I mean, yeah, he rocked him a few times, but that was just a flash knockout with the right hook. I don't think we've ever seen that before from UTG. That that should be the first time he's. Pretty much only gotten flash knockouts with, uh, I think it was like maybe one uppercut. And for the most part, just kicks. I mean, just look at this. Perfectly placed. Tui Vaza goes down like a sack of potatoes. And he's just, there's just nothing he could do here. I mean, I have to give him credit. He did put on a good performance. Like, he worked for it. And he looked like he could actually go and potentially steal something. But, unfortunately for him, it just wasn't meant to be. And UTG defends his title. Once again, it continues to just go on this insane run and just continues to extend his record of being the heavyweight with the most title defenses. And it's just kind of hard to see how anybody can stop him. I mean, people have had their moments against him, but nobody's really come close to finishing him. And Taitui Vaza once again. Same opponent, two times in a row. It's already happened once 
with Curtis Blade. So the game is just throwing people out there at this point. I mean, Tui Vaza, to be fair, he had a decent performance, but did he really deserve to get another shot? I mean, it's not like he was, you know, it's not like he wasn't just brutally knocked out. It wasn't like he, it's not like he wasn't tortured, you know what I mean? Like, he took a fucking beating, got hurt multiple times, just got kind of humiliated overall, and yet, you know, they give him a shot again. But, all right, whatever. UTG's not going to be against it, of course. He will fight anybody, anytime. And uh, he, he, unlike Khabib, he actually will just to give him a location, he will actually show up. And it looks like he's basically trying to spam oblique kicks to the thigh of Tai Tui Vaza to basically make him a handicap and never allow him to fight again. Which is kind of uncalled for if you think about it. But, I mean, from a guy who goes by Ultimate Torture God, probably not surprising. The axe kick out of nowhere is just kind of completely random there by UTG. And he's definitely looking for, the, for, for leg kicks. Unlike, I think, OGTG... UTG doesn't have a single leg kick finish, I think. Maybe maybe early, early, really, really early on in his career. But lately, definitely definitely not. It hasn't really gone to the legs too much because it is very dangerous, especially at heavyweight where if you misplace a kick or in the middle of kicking you get caught by a punch, you can definitely go to sleep. UTG hits him with the, with the UTG kick there. Goes to the body kick. Still flowing with it. I mean, you got to give credit to UTG. Like, he, he always goes out there with new moves. Like, the oblique kick is... I don't think he's thrown that before, and if he has, it hasn't been often. There he goes, hurts Tai Tuivaza's leg. Already has him rock and have him stumbling, which is terrible for a guy who pretty much only relies on power. If he can't actually push off of that leg, then he's pretty much screwed. So to see UTG putting on a performance like this is actually pretty inspiring. I mean, I just like it's like it makes me want to go and just start beat the shit out of John Luca, my brother. So <laughs> I'll be watching with this with him, and so he'll probably square up and pull out his baseball bat and. Pop on Stone Cold Steve Austin song and just start beating the shit out of me, probably. So uh, that was probably a mistake, but UTG is putting on a hell of a performance right here. Tai Tui Vaza is, is surviving, I will say that, but he's got to do a better job at defending the legs. If, if this keeps on going like like it is, then he's going to get finished and it's not going to be pretty for him. He's going to be out for a very, very long time. And UTG is definitely not the kind of guy you want to just, you know, stand in front of. Like, He's got so many different kinds of shots, and he's got things from different ranges. Yes, he's short, and he doesn't have a good reach, but he can hit you from pretty much anywhere. He has elbows. He has knees. He has a little push kick. He has the Superman punch. He has so much stuff he can throw at you. And uh, if you're not on point with your defense, then you're going to go to sleep. And UTG, like right now, he's actually like he's putting pressure on Tui Vaza, but Tui Vaza's covering very well, and he's responding with body shots, which is very, very intelligent because... If there's one thing that UTG might still have, it's some cardio problems. So he needs to try to exploit that and try to do something that other people haven't, which is just literally get him tired and take him to the deep waters. Because so far, everybody's been finished in like the first round or early second. And of course, Tui Vaza's hurt again. He eats two leg kicks in a row. eats a third. Okay, he checked that one. And UTG is actually hurt. So has to be a bit more careful going into the second round. But definitely a very, very dominant round for UTG. I would say it's even more dominant the than the first fight because of course you could say you know UTG finished him in the first fight in the first round but um you know UTG also took, got rocked once he took some shots in this fight he's pretty much only been hit to the body and I don't think body shots are really going to be an issue for UTG I mean we, it had it never has been so why would you think it's going to be now unless he's literally been just pounding down whiskey and who knows whatever else um then that could potentially be it but I don't really see I don't really see a liver shot being a problem for UTG, especially not from a guy like Tui Baza, who sure has some power, but, you know, he's he's nothing to write home about, that's for damn sure. So UTG going to the second round should be full of confidence and should be ready to put this man to bed, pause. Of course, he hits him with another combo of leg kicks. Tui Baza continuing to expose his poor defense. I'm sure now he'll start checking him, but he eats another two in a row. That's like four or five in a row now. Okay, he checked that one. I mean, good on you. Good on you, Tui Baza. It's Tuivaza, it's time to actually start. You know, got to be a little bit defensive, but of course he eats another one. He checks that one. UTG has to be careful. He has to be careful, though. He can't just go balls to the walls with it, because if he does, and Tuivaza checks a few, then he could be in deep shit, but he just continues to spam it. And Tuivaza continues to not defend. He's just taking a beating, but then he checks that one, and he hurts UTG's leg. Both legs of UTG have been hurt by checked leg kicks, so he needs to go with the oblique because it takes less damage, and he gets hit by head kick. And UTG's now hurt. Interesting turn of events. He gets che he gets checked again. And is stumbling backwards. But he lands that one with the oblique. Oh, he drops down. Has to just go with the obliques. They don't get... You don't suffer. Oh, the head kick is there. Dude, what a fucking round. All of a sudden, 
UTG wants the finish with the legs. Tui Vaz is getting back in it. And UTG goes to the head. Oh, another fucking oblique. Another one. Tui Vaza somehow continues to get up. He checks it again. Another one. UTG might actually auto finish himself. Auto finish. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, and there it is. Tai Tui Vaza is done. He can't take anymore. UTG beats him for the second time on the bounce. Getting himself like a seventh or eighth title defense in a row. Just on a ferocious roll. Looking like an absolute god. Has the making of literally the Goten. Uh, absolute superstar so UTG just continues to impress continues to beat people in different ways too it's not like he's just beating them the same time same way every time that's a knockout with a hook a knockout with oblique kicks it's just overall UTG is looking like an extremely dominant fighter and it's just so hard to see anybody actually getting past him And there it is, Dan Mergliata declaring Ultimate Torture God the winner. We've seen this so many times at this point. It's like it's no surprise to see this guy at the top. Like at first, it was shocking to imagine this guy getting a title shot and even winning a title as well. And yet now, literally, it looks like and it would be Im impressive for anybody to just even touch him. So that's his tenth consecutive UFC title defense. He's only two away from the record he's very close to the consecutive wins record as well so he's on an absolute just tear right now and now he has Stefan Struve and with all the respect to Stefan Struve despite his stats just being insane look at that 94 striking 95 grappling like his his stats are just ferocious right now like there's no way in hell they were like that at the beginning so there's actually growth in the game apparently I never really noticed that but I guess uh Stefan Struve might actually be a threat because I think they've already fought before, and it wasn't exactly close. I mean, the biggest thing to worry about for UTG is the fact that, you know, this this guy is 7 feet tall, so he probably can't land his uh, UTG kick. I mean, if he does, then it's just because Stefan Struve is basically bending forward. Um, I don't know, he's on his knees or something like that. But look at the size difference here. Like, they don't even look like they're the same. They don't even look like they're the same fucking species of human. So, it doesn't really make sense. Oh, my God, Stefan Struve immediately rocks him. Like I was saying, his stats are just insane right now. And having such a big size difference, such, such a massive size advantage, he could actually put away Ultimate Torture God because he has that reach. But UTG lands a head kick. Oh, he gets rocked again. He gets cut, cut by a combo and he goes to the ground, but he gets up immediately. Oh my God, Struve hits him with an uppercut. Is this going to be it for UTG? Who lands the UTG kick? We said it was going to be almost impossible, but he's landed it. Lands another head kick. So Stefan Struve's defense is still shit. It's always been his biggest weakness, in my opinion, and it continues to be so. And UTG puts him down, looks for the finish, it's over! The toughest fight UTG has had in so fucking long ends with UTG knocking him out. Holy shit, Stefan Struve is a fucking animal now. I mean, just Jesus Christ, he went from being a bum to being this. Imagine if Stefan Struve was actually like that offensively in real life. Like, if he could use his range and actually used good defense, he would pretty much be unstoppable. If this Stefan Struve showed up in real life with actual defense, then I feel like he would probably be, you know, the heavyweight champion pretty quick. I mean, and of course, if he actually had a chin, I think Mark Hunt destroyed that uh, long ago, and he's never really recovered after that jumping, that jumping, uh, <laughs> that jumping knockout by by Mark Hunt. I mean, poor Struve. Like, you got to say though, like he put in one hell of an effort. I mean, while it lasted, he landed some big shots and was very, very close to finishing UTG. I mean. If he'd have had enough time to dive on him, then he probably could have gotten the finish. I mean, you got to say UTG's ability to recover is second to none. And now he goes up to 12 consecutive wins and 11 consecutive title defenses. One away from the all-time, from equaling the all-time record. Or actually probably passing it, I would say. That's probably like once you get to 12, you've passed it. So he's very, very close to it. And UTG makes 2 million for that fight. Definitely well-deserved. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and let me know in the comments what you think of UTG and do you think he's going to reach that GOAT status that he's so close to getting to. And uh, word has it that UTG is going to be releasing an interview that's going to reveal a lot of things very, very soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.